Hi there, I'm Hart and I am a gamer. I've played since I was young and I've played all sorts of games from all sorts of genres. But there is one game I have never played. One that has been released countless times. From a giant company known as the peak of their genre in a series I've never touched. That's right, it's Skyrim. With friends recommending it to me and a Steam sale on, I thought, why not? And I pushed the button. It's the meme! <laughs> Guys, it's the me. So, for context, I was 11 when Skyrim first released. I had a Wii and a DS, and a computer that could barely run Team Fortress 2. I only know Skyrim through memes. I've never actually seen the playthrough of it. I know nothing at all about the game. You are finally awake. You were trying to cross the oh. border, right? Walk right if... I didn't realise there was, there was more of a game after the whole, like, first thoughts. minute, I, I'll be honest. So to get you up to date, we got captured, put on this car, and been herded to our execution. Although there's a brave guy here trying to save us, I think. You're not gonna kill me. <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> and now we get to create our character. Skyrim is full of many types of races. From cats, to elves, to orcs, and even lizards. So I decided for this playthrough to go as a white human character and be on my way. I'm joking, of course. I went for a high elf because I always liked elves in a fantasy setting, and uh, being a spellcaster seems cool. So after about 10 minutes of customising my character, we went to get executed. And this guy wasn't having any of it. Don't do it. Oh, okay, wow, it actually happened. Well, <laughs> okay, well. This is when it started to feel real. I was going to die. I took a deep breath. I laid my head down, preparing for whatever god to take me to the other side, when suddenly... Well, you just spent all that time creating the character and now it's dead already. I, it is a dragon! Chaos. <laughs> a guy was screaming at me to come to a keep nearby. Okay, yes, you're right. I'm so sorry. I should get in. Move then! He then took us through the burning village into an underground dungeon, which, uh, looking back, I probably should have been a bit more cautious about. Anyways, we grabbed some loot and headed forward. Hear that? Storm cloaks. Maybe we can reason with them. Uh. Uh. uh hello? Oh, no, no, no! We said reason! We said reason! Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Uh, after reasoning with them, I looted them. Take all. Oh gosh, she's naked. Slayed a oh, few more of their comrades. Oh, there we go. One hand. Oh. Oh no. We got her. <laughs> and finally, I made it to the exit. And it was time to enter Skyrim. My first mission? Head to Riverwood. A local town nearby. This guy says he knows a blacksmith that will help me prepare. Only problem is that I had no idea where this place was. He suggested to split up, but I followed him through, hoping he would get the hint and uh, guide me there. But this was actually when I was surprised. There was a whole interaction and voice lines about me following them. It was pretty cool and completely unexpected. You see this mountain over there? Can I go to it? We enter Riverwood and meet up with the blacksmith. He said we could help ourselves to anything we may need. I took him up on that offer. Actually, we're going to take the gold necklace so we can trade it in and get a lot of money. Oh, there's, there's a lot more. Oh, okay. He mentioned that we needed to tell the Yarl of White Run that there was a dragon. So we headed up the mountain for our first real solo adventure. But as uh, straight as possible, but... Uh, ah! Oh my gosh, jump scare. Wait, where's my weapon? Where's my weapon? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, oh. After gracefully honouring our enemy. Take that wolf, you stink. I found a couple houses and what felt like a town. Although my calves were hurting a bit. Sneak increases 16. Thank um, I've been crouching the entire time. <laughs> I've been crouching. Then we met the Cabbage Man, a very lovely fellow. 
He was growing some cabbages in front of his own house and was happy to. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. What? What? Who are you? Why are you here? Well, that's taken care of. Okay, I get it. I get it. So this lady rudely interrupted me and stated that they slayed a giant with no indication that we were supposed to help. No call outs, no pleads, not even any screaming. But apparently I was supposed to know. Anyways, I left them with a word of encouragement. Good work, guys. And entered the city. This, if this was in real life, this would look so cool. But sadly, Wait. we're not. I know you. Y you know me. Wait, I know you. Y y yeah, you're making a mistake. There's no mistake. You're a wanted woman. It's time to pay for your crimes. So apparently, I did the truly terrible crime of stealing a potato earlier, but for the life of me, I cannot find any footage of it. But I promise it was just a potato. The guy seemed to overlook my many murders so far, so I admitted my faults and gave him some gold for it. <sighs> Guys, I did the crime. I'll pay off my bounty. Good enough. Done. The consequences of my actions, they have caught up to me. We then spoke to Jarl and told him of the dragon. He then sent us to this guy, telling us to go to some ruin for a stone tablet that might not even be there. I used to be an adventurer like you. <gasps> then I took an arrow in the knee. He said the meme! So with full confidence in this mission, we climb up the mountain to find ourselves a dragon. The dragons are up here. Come at me dragons. Oh hello, you're not a dragon. We ended up fighting this guy who looked like a gacha role out of Raid Shadow Legends. Talking of that, our sponsor for the video is After dispersing of the ad, we went inside the temple and found a friend who would let us through the closed gate. Who's there? Oh. Oh, he opened the door for me. Okay. I, I see. I tried many different ways to get in. Uh, some more successful than others. Open. No. <laughs> But after a while, we finally figured it out and went through the gate. Only to hear some screaming from a man in the distance. Can I also... That's easier. Keep it away from me. Oh no. No, I'm not ready. Why are you so big? Why are you so big? Why are you so big? We slayed the giant spider and went up to the guy who looked like tomorrow's breakfast. We're gonna... Ah, oh, okay. There you go. You good now? Why should I share the treasure with anyone? <clears throat> How rude. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh no. Oh. 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 Oh no. We ended up taking the Golden Claw as well as most of his other belongings and went deeper into the dungeon, exactly. slaying some more enemies okay. along the way. Watch this. <laughs> and exploring new items. Oh, oh, wait, can I? Can I? Oh, you can't. Hmm. Ah! <gasps> I, I, f I feel like I should have uh, seen that coming. Where we eventually arrived to what seemed to be a vault. The golden claw seemed to fit right in, so it had to be part of the puzzle. Although, gosh, this puzzle was a pain. I legitimately spent like 10 minutes here. I was backtracking, looking at walls, staring at statues, wondering if there was a hint I missed on my journey. Maybe I wasn't paying enough attention? I didn't realise this was something I needed to do. I ended up trying to brute force it, until suddenly... How closely have I looked at that? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah! I then found a corridor in a big room and I was like, ooh, a secret. But it turns out that was a one-way exit and I was too focused on the chest to notice. So we had to restart. 
Wow, guys, let's complete this puzzle. I then stayed on the correct path and read some words and tried to find the owner of the stone slab we needed. <gasps> Are you the owner? Are you the owner? Oh. Ah. It was a close fight, getting near death a couple times. But with the power of a single sword and a healing spell always ready, we slain the enemy and got the stone slab we needed. So we teleported back to Whiterun in order to deliver the stone. I love Giratina. I I like the app. Get nervous. A woman approaches with a weapon drawn. I'm sorry. Bit passive aggressive, wasn't he? Anyways, we talked to the dragon expert when someone barged in, stating there was a dragon nearby. She gave me a rundown and told me where to meet her. I did get a little bit peckish on the way there though. But there's cheese. Who was here to protect the cheese? I I think I should take some cheese just in case. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and your people. I I, ju I just wanted some cheese. I took hold in a tower and prepared to face the dragon. Where where's the dragon? Oh, you're down there. Hello, buddy. The fight was action packed. Of these close calls and moments where I was left in shock, hoping I could escape the dragon's grasp. Eh. Oh, that that guy's brave. Gosh, look at him go. Look at them go. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Ah, oh, nice. After the dragon fell, I felt a strong burst of wind hit me, and that's when I learnt I finally got it. Shout! This is it. This is the moment, after all this time, wanting, needing, wondering what this game was about, I finally got it. The memes were about to come real, the Fuzo Dars, the pushing people off cliffs, the song, I was ready to be enlightened. In their tongue is Dovahkiin, Dragonborn! Well that was a bit underwhelming. 